friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Sidnalis over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Devo, we are jumping back into the shoes of Elster, and we're opening the bloody door. Well, it's bloody. Oh, and there's a big hole in the floor. That's, I don't, I don't like that. Ooh, propaganda poster. Have we seen this one before? I think we have. Arar. All-purpose repair worker replica Ara. Yeah, I think we might have seen that one before. Ooh, new, new disposable stun rod. I have no idea why you would make these disposable, but hey, you know, it's not my call. Oh, we got schematics here? Replica overview. Arar. Osvec Reparture Arbiter Replica. Ara. All-purpose repair worker replica Maka. Wait, what? Type generation to low cost general purpose. Frame biomechanical with titanium reinforced polyethylene shell. Height 185 centimeters. The tough worker bees of the construction and repair industry. One of the earlier replica designs, the simple but efficient auras are actually the most produced replica type to date. These strong and heavy worker units are a perfect fit for working construction and production of industrial goods. In many places throughout our nation, nation again with a capital there, auras have already replaced all gestalt workers in fields like the climiforming and explosive ordnance disposal. Nice. We use them for extremely hazardous stuff that'll get people killed. I don't want to go in the hole yet. Not, not yet. Is that a little boat? Somebody building boats in here? What the, what the heck's up with that? No space security. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> Just you got ten millimeter ammo. Yes. Oh, we can. Use both of those to get our spell plus slot back, or two. Pick up shotgun rounds, because you always need more shotgun rounds. Yeah, definitely want to keep searching up here before we jump down any holes. The lock is defective, this door cannot be opened. Oh, you just came out of nowhere! Alright, well I'm leaving then, screw you! Isn't there a door over here? Did we check that? Oh, that door is also locked, okay. Um... There was a right door there? Huh. Well, something tells me that's going to be... That's going to be locked, but let's... Or, or, No, it can't be locked. It has a blue... It has a blue thing on it. Oh, yeah. Now we get to do more of this. Okay, great. Um, yeah, we still got some pistol rounds. Oh, you're, you're going to... Okay, we're doing this, apparently. Oh, you got a big shield. I thought it was smaller than that. Oh, I didn't even pick it up. What a what a waste. I didn't even pick it up. Terrible. Oh yeah, this is the This is the room where it's dark. It's too dark to see. It's too dark to see. Okay. Ooh, repair patch. Cool. Because we definitely took a hit in that last room. <laughs> Several hits, as it were. And hopefully they're not right outside. Yeah, I wish the game would have been like, oh, by the way, that was the room that was dark. Like, you know, we get the little, like, kind of... Uh, little red and black, like, upside-down shield, or, I guess, regular side-up shield. I wish we had one of those for that room, but we don't. So looks like down the hole we're going. It's great. This is like the third floor in a row we've gone down, and I'm I'm losing track of what's where and how do we get the places kind of deal. Come on, Elster. There we go. I'm afraid the commander won't receive any visitors at the moment. But perhaps I can be of assistance instead. Who are you? I'm the administrator of this facility. Please, there's no need to be afraid. I'm just here to help. And 
none of us are here by choice. Whoa, what? Oh, did we actually fall down a hole or did we have another like coma dream? What, what was that? All right, well, we're full up again, which is kind of unfortunate, but hey, what are you gonna do? Do I have a stun prod on? No. That's unfortunate. Well, I really want that auto injector, so. Nice. I wonder if that's like a sneak attack. If, like, I get them unsuspecting with a max lock on, will they die in one hit? Hi, Matt. Hurst their revolution. Hi, Matt. Heart of the revolution. Okay, yeah. Nothing dystopian about that. That's totally normal. <laughs> Anything over here? Just spam the search button? Well, I guess not. Looks like we're going out this big old door. Unlocked the door. Oh great, they're they're everywhere. That's fun. More shotgun shells, yeah, that's that's the good stuff. Oh, yeah. That apparently is how that works. Oh, and apparently the lock-on is a critical thing to have. Like, that was two shots instead of the four it takes. I'm just firing wildly. So kind of like Resident Evil, the Resident Evil 2 remake, you basically have to, like, the aim is important. Lift systems power down if one of there's any way to turn it on. Yeah, probably by turning on the power, I would imagine. Just kind of spitballing here, you know, just... Let's check all these doors to make sure what's open, what isn't. Uh, you know what? I, I don't like that one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that one. How about this one? You know what? This one, this one ain't better. I don't... Okay, that, it's, it didn't work right that time. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> need a lot of space to pull that off correctly apparently got it just panic fire just a little bit of panic fire not not a lot of panic fire just a little we definitely took a hit and yeah, we're down to yellow well, I mean, we can get like a repair patch. We'd be in good shape. It combine and make a new repair spray, but I think we might just have to use regular old repair spray. Pick up fuse. Yeah, I've been looking everywhere for you, fuse. Order number S23-90A3C28F9Z. From S-23 Protector Accommodations Management, L E U L R at dash S2308. S-23 service cadre Arar dash S2314 item high voltage fuse part number F293C198 dash 23897 K67849 your order for this replacement part has been approved and was processed by S-23 management please find and close the requested part for installation Falk has specifically requested that the repair of the looping lift system be prioritized over other repairs. Please replace the fuse as soon as possible. It is a huge hassle for everyone to get around without it. Yeah, I keep having to jump through holes in the floor. It's a real pain. Propaganda poster? Nice. Kites. Kites. Kites awaits liberation. All right, cool. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information, but... I certainly have it now. Nothing else on the table? No? Well, let's bust a repair spray. We'll be healed eventually. And let's never come in here ever again. Alright, we came in for the star dorm, so let's check this way here. It's probably just another... Oh, good! It's another pitch black room! With enemies in the corner. Two of them, nice. 
Well, let's not do anything with that. Okay, that's nothing either. Okay. So we are going up the way I didn't want to go. I knew I didn't want to go this way. I knew it was bad news. Well, there's an obvious door there, but what is this? This looks like fancy door. The door is locked with a reinforced rolling shutter gate. I need a fitting shutter gate handle to open it. Oh, we need a square crank. Oh, snap. No, oh, no, not a shield, dude. No. Okay, well, that's unfortunate for me. Uh, we're going to go right. We're just going to immediately flee from that. Oh, hi, person standing in the darkness. Nothing, nothing to see there. Ah, oh, crap. We need, we need to dump some stuff off. Ooh, what is this? Star S-2313. Security Technician Guard Replica Star. S-2313 Hunter. Nice. That one's fun. I like that one. Don't mind me. Just casually... No, I said I was casual! Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, uh... Apparently we don't have any more pistol bullets. <laughs> Which is unfortunate for us. We're gonna have to hit you with the juke. Oh, what was that? I don't know. 174 triple zero. Good. Let's never do that again. Oh, come on, Elster. I don't know what that was, but it terrified me for some reason. Was it 173? Seven three triple zero. Oh, hold on. We can we can climb up here. Okay, that's hold hold. On. It's it's too much right now. Shush shush. Um, this was the floor above us. I want to say there's no save room there either. There was one above it though. Yeah, let's uh let's pop back up there if we can and get our save situation organized. Cuz our items our uh, inventory situation is just a mess right now. Also, we have the fuse. So that's good. I wonder if these bodies in the elevator shaft are like piled all the way up from the floor below it where they're like floor to ceiling. That would be horrific, but not out of the range of things I would expect from this game. Okay, we got that. We can stash the pistol, pull the shotgun back out, and the one shotgun shell I had laying around. And we can turn another repair spray into a repair spray repair spray plus, which is always fun. Love combining stuff in survival horror games. It's good and good for you. Although we, now we have nothing equipped. Roll on the shotgun. I think using the pistol there, like, it made it more dicey, but now we have uh, a fair amount of shotgun ammo that we, when we have to run back through here, it won't be a, as bad a time as it could have been. Okay, let's slap that fuse in there, and I hope the, the puzzle isn't much more than that, because I don't know, uh... Used fuse? Used fuse. Oh, sweet. Oh, is this another puzzle here, I guess? We need 230 volt on the bottom and 800 volt on the top. Okay. Whoa. That's close. I feel like maybe... No, oh, that ain't it. Oh, nailed it. Aziz Light! Wait, we're good, right? That's it? Yeah? I think we're good. Ooh, and the elevator's powered. Looks like an engine for powering a looping pattern loss lift system. Sweet. 
So that should be working now. I'm not super happy about that because every good thing we do has to be like counterbalanced but behind like what what terrible is going to happen in proportion to that now that we've done that. This is where we were, right? Yeah. That, oh, I, I guess I didn't notice it. The dark rooms do have, like, an indicator that they're dark. Okay. That's fair. That's... I, uh... Yeah, how'd you, like, shotgun to the face? I bet you didn't. What's up with this door? It's locked, and the lock is also defective. We don't have that. That's on, but I'm not sure what benefit that is. Maybe we should just go down another floor? Because I'm pretty sure we could go down this, like, tube section here. One more floor. Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. That seems like a good idea. Ooh, another propaganda poster. Hafong fur die zunkunft. Rot front. Ugh. Hope for the future. Rot front. You know, when you're looking for things to hope for the future, maybe calling them rot front isn't a good idea. It unlocks from the other side. Ah, okay, I was worried about that. I figured we'd, uh, the gravy train on this side of the silo would run dry at some point. Oh, this is another... This is another, um... Oh, I guess it's nothing. I was gonna say it looks like another, like, a uh, mail kind of kiosk thing, but I guess not. Well, I guess we should go down and check the, uh, the Posternost lift. Do not resurrect from the dead, please. Thank you. Well, those are moving. I'm not sure to what benefit that is, but... I assume, was there one of these floors where we couldn't get somewhere because of the lift? Or maybe it's, uh, oh, I can go down another floor from here. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, that door opens. Wait, doesn't this... Why didn't that lead out into the silo? Whatever. Pick up a shutter gate handle? Yeah, give me that crank. And also, I want that note, so I'm going to have to say, thanks for shopping, but you're going to have to die now. What's our ammo situation looking like? Okay, I guess. Mina, hey, I think that's the thing we just murdered upstairs. Replica Known Issues Part 3 Classified Information Commander Eyes Only Oops, well, we're breaking classified information protocol, that's for sure. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Sure, I'll take care of that. Minor this neural pattern is extremely stable. Little has to be done to keep Minas happy. They get along well with most other models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona stabilization. Small stuffed animals may be given as fetish objects, though those resembling cats should be avoided as they might cause resurfacing gestalt memories. Adler units work best when left alone. They do not mix well with their own type. They will usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander. Adlers are very susceptible to bioresonant suggestion, making them fairly easy to control. However, they become bored very easily and may need new fetish objects at regular intervals for stabilization. Uh, just, I want to say while they were talking about the stuffed animals, uh, we did notice a few stuffed animals in those locker rooms on the, like the upper floors, I want to say. So, cool. Oh, is this? Yeah, let's let's open this. Yes. Oh, we're in the administrative the administrative section apparently. 
Aeon Falk. Replica Overview. Pugler. Okay, great. Whoa, that's a... Look at that word. Purung's Commando Light and Height Replica. Falk. Operational Command Control Unit Replica. Falcon. Type Generation 6 High-Tech Bioresonance Command Unit. Frame, biomechanical with polyethylene shell and bullet-resistant armor plating. Height, 250 centimeters. Classified information, commander's eyes only. The protector Furung's commando's commander, the head of each AN facility's protector force, is a powerful prototype bioresonant Falk unit. An authority that may never be questioned, a Falk unit serves not just as a commander to the protectors, but as a nearly godlike being, a perception that is underlined by her tall build and resemblance to our nation's leaders, the great revolutionary, and her daughter. Oh? It is also aided by her powerful prototype bioresonance module, which not only allows her to bend the will of weaker minds and fathom their intentions and emotions, but also grants her the ability to manipulate objects from a distance. Okay, so that's the commander. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, hello. I don't know metric conversions off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure 250 centimeters is big. Like, big. I don't know. Like I said, I don't, I don't know the conversion from like uh, centimeters to inches right off the top of my head, but sizable is, is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, disposable stump rod. Yeah, give me that. Slap that into the tool slot, and we're out of slots already. Great. Yeah, I know you want you want me to look at that, but you know I'll get there in a second. Okay, Falk's diary, eighty four twenty one dash A. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I do not want to live anymore. Is what I have become. The red eye beyond the gate showed me. No, touched me, poisoned me. It feels like my mind has been contaminated, defiled, by another person's memory. I'm no longer fully myself anymore, but I've not fully become someone else either. I'm stuck here, between her and me, with half-formed dreams and recollections penetrating my brain and tainting my every action. Who is she? Who is that white-haired girl? Why do I long to see her again? Why would she curse me like this? Oh, that's not good. So Falk's seeing the same stuff we're seeing. And uh, unfortunately for her, it drove her mad, apparently. All right, we got a lot of stuff. And we're we got to we're going to make a decision here, I want to say. We definitively need the square crank, right? Uh, the stump rod. We don't really need that. But I, oh, I can't, I can't drop things. Oh no. Oh, that's unfortunate. And I can't just use it because we need this ammo. We don't need the repair patch. We need these two stacks of 10 millimeter. That's super important. What's that? A heavy box fashioned to look like an owl. There are small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. Oh, cool. Oh, so that was that room with the frequency we needed to get into. Probably gave us the owl key, which not only unlocks another door, but apparently something that uh, Falk's carrying. So we came all the way to the bottom, only to have to come back up to the top. Gotcha. And the map says there's a... Oh, wait, no. There's a room behind this one? How does that work? There's no door to it. Whatever. Yeah, thank you for going back under the floorboards. Nope, I'm leaving for you. Nope. None of that. Alright, well, let's check out the rest of this floor. I don't want to because everything's terrible in this place. It's all bad. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is the star system we're in. Cool. We got one, two, three, four, five planets. An orrery showing a rotating view of the current relative positions of the inhabited worlds of the solar system. And we've heard we've heard of some of these. We've heard of Rotfront and Hymat and Kittes. 
But Buyan and Veneta don't sound familiar. I don't think we've read anything about them. Buyan, home to the Imperial Palace, floating above poisonous clouds. Oh, I can actually, like... Veneta, the ocean world, ravaged by war. When I close my eyes, I can hear the sound of the sea. Oh, that's weird, but all right. Kite, the Red Desert. The Imperial Fleet can only hold it for so long before it will be liberated. All right, hi, Matt. Hi, Matt, home of the new nation's government. I heard the view of the gas giant's rings in the sky is beautiful there. Yeah, but why does it have a... Why does it have, like, a big star around it? That's what I want to know. And Lang? Lang. S-23 Sierpinski is here. Oh, so we're on Lang. Okay. Rot front. The ice moon circling the largest gas giant. Still in the process of climaforming. Good. And, oh, we saw... It. All right, that's everything there. Cool. So we gotta... That's... That's the world we inhabit. Usually when a game does world building, they don't give you the whole star system you're in. It's locked. Library key required. Okay. Upside down Triforces on the pillar again. Always good. And this room is obscenely dark. I, I don't like the dark rooms. I wonder if that eyeball thing we got was important for flashlight. Like it didn't, it obviously said we we're getting a flashlight module, but who knows? Oh, hi, uh, mm, mm, five and two, huh? Okay, let's do it. Wow, how did that hit the one back there? Shotgun's got some serious spread. Like, like more spread than is necessary kind of deal. It's locked. Hummingbird key required. Oh, great. I always wanted a hummingbird key. Oh, there's so many of them. These ones got stun prods. Don't, don't you do it. No, ow, <laughs> that hurt a little bit. Ow, so did that. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. Now I gotta come in here and use a healing item. Right, right, yeah. It's the mineshaft access elevator. I need an administrator's key to call it. Well, we don't have one of those. And I guess we've given up on using the protector elevator because, uh... Ooh, unlock the door. Because we're just not near that anymore. Not only that, but, like, I'm pretty sure the, the, the access we have to it is, like, barricaded off. So I don't have that. Oh, we missed doors, though. We didn't, we didn't identify whether these doors are open or shut. All right, well... Bring it on. Nice. Two for... Nope, nope. Get it? Yeah. Oh, I got no more ammo to reload, though. That's that's disheartening. Four rounds left. Got to remember that. Four rounds. There's a flashlight module lying on the table. Pick up flashlight module? Yes. Oh, why? Why? Why did the lights go out when I did that? Shoulder-mounted flashlight module powered by internal replica power supply when installed. Oh, great. Oh, that's, that's what I always wanted. Okay, is there more? No space. Oh, we got a full stack of shotgun now? Or wait, what? Oh, wait, was it just one round so I reloaded it, like, in the menu? That's weird. Well, single shotgun round, I guess, is kind of beat, but whatever. Ooh, and details on Adler. Replica overview. Adler. Administration. Detten Vartenbeitung Logistic Replica. Adler. Administration. Data Processing. Logistics Replica. Eagle. Type Generation 5 High Command Specialist. Frame Biomechanical with Polyethylene Shell and Titanium Skeleton. Height 175 centimeters. An integral part of every protector from Scum Commando is the Administrator Unit. 
A single Adler unit can manage and oversee all administrative tasks for an entire facility, bring other operational command units to focus on the direct control of protector units. The Adler is designed to work as a direct counterpart to the Falk unit, serving as her adjutant by taking care of necessary paperwork and calculations. Uh, so it seems like uh, Adler's just supposed to be like the executive assistant and went crazy and uh, killed everybody. It's locked. Eagle key required. Yeah, well, it's going to be a while before we get that. Ooh, another poster. I think we've seen this one before. The Wunderwaffen. I don't like the sound of that. Super weapons of our nation in the battle against the Empire. Falk units. And we read that. Okay. I don't like that we have another thing that's taken up our tool slot now. We've got... I just noticed that this crank is covered in blood, by the way. I didn't notice that before. I can use this to open a shuttered door. Is that it? That's all you got on that? Okay. Well, we're kind of running tight on time, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back up to the first floor. Wait, is this a new one? No, that's rock front. We saw that before. Okay. So, that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Signalis. I'm Devo, Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.